Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX. So AVEX has made a new bear market low, crashed through all support levels. Not good. Um, the 12.99 level was our last reliable bullish support level. By breaking this, we had a warning that a new bear market low would be coming. Unfortunately, it happened so quickly that I couldn't do another update video beforehand, but it's now made a new bear market low, so we have to expect it might continue to um, grind down further. Also, in light of the assumption that Bitcoin will go down a little lower, I think um, AVEX can do that as well. Um, yeah, we have a situation. I'm zooming out here a little bit and the count still says 1212 on the AVEX chart. The problem is if price breaks below the July 21 low, which was at $9.46, $9.50, then this chart will become very, very difficult. I could then only work with an overshooting B wave here, but it's completely unrealistic and therefore it would turn into an ABC structure to the upside and a possible five wave move to the downside, which would, which would put the chart into a long-term bearish perspective. So it definitely needs to avoid to break below, sorry, to break below the 950 level. Again, if it does that, or let's just measure that accurately, what was the low, but it might differ a little bit depending on the exchange, um, $9.40, okay? So if price breaks below that level, we have the situation that we have an ABC top and the fact that it now made a new bear market low, yeah, could put it into the situation that it has a five wave move to the downside, which is not good, yeah? One, two, three, four, and the wave five here, probably still in the making as a diagonal pattern. Um, in the bullish count, yeah, the only way I can still see a bullish wave count here for this chart is that it finishes the last waves here as a diagonal structure. Okay, what I'm unsure about, so this is the bullish count, um, with that new bear market low here, the only way really to count this still as, as bullish is to understand this as a one, two, three, might be finished soon, then a wave four bounce and a wave five. But that might take it below that $9.40 level. And then we are sort of in a situation where the probability is increased that this is long-term bearish. Um, what I'm unsure about is if it gets this last wave four and five. Because I can also count it in a way that I actually move everything here and then say, okay, we had the wave two here, something like that, yeah? So that I had to move four and three over there. But wave one, in white finished then in June 22. Here wave two to the upside, wave three, four, and this basically now is the last wave down in a wave five. So I'm not sure if it gets this last four and five. I think it should, I'm leaning towards that. But I'm, I'm again, it's, it's it, you know, we, we first, we first need to see how price now reacts to support. I think it is likely to be honest that price will go down to that $9.40 level. If it goes below that, it may touch this trend line at around $7.70. And yeah, then then it's sort of, you know, then we're in a situation where I'm saying, but I'm saying that anyway, you know, we first need to see if price turns around and gives us an impulse. Because at the moment, there is just no impulse to the upside. There hasn't been. And in this entire correction down, price hasn't confirmed at all any low in place. Now, I also didn't expect it to break through all support levels. However, with all altcoins, it's important to wait until we get a reversal. And we didn't get one, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, we need to wait for a five-wave move up and a three-wave move down. I always try to mention it now in the video so people understand that, that that will be our reversal signal. When I see one, I'll let you know. Um, at the moment, I think it will go down further. That's what we have to assume because it made a new bear market low, right? And the next support is at 940. I will keep you updated. And then if we get the, let's get the dust settled a little bit. And then we can also t talk about the next sort of resistance levels, you know, next support levels and target areas, trend reversal points and everything. Okay, that's my update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.